Right, we now turn to Howard Armistead, an AIDS research scientist who has been HIV positive for over 36 years. He's one of the longest living survivors of the disease in the world and has been taking antiretroviral drugs since 1989. From Los Angeles, California, Armistead has lived in Africa since 2002. He's the leading um, autodidactic AIDS researcher in the world. In 1999, he began taking 200 micrograms of selenium a day and switched his research strategy to understanding its health benefits. Now, recent research shows that uh, one 200 uh, uh, tablet uh, um, a day slows HIV progression by 43.6%. A clinical trial is currently being funded to determine how beneficial selenium is against COVID-19. We're now joined by uh, Howard Armistead to give us a sense of the impact and the effectiveness of selenium. Howard, a very good morning to you. Thank you for your time. The big question, could selenium be the mineral miracle? But uh, First things first, we need to first understand what selenium is and how exactly it tackles viruses. Um, thank you, Imbo. Good morning. Um, selenium is, is a mineral, as you know, vitamins and minerals. And selenium is the key mineral required for the immune system. Uh, the immune system is the most complicated system in the human body. Uh, it's got at least five different major aspects of the immune system, and all of those five aspects require selenium. Most importantly, selenium has been shown to be the most effective thing to help against HIV disease and AIDS because selenium has a direct effect on the thymus gland, and therefore it is the strongest thing to increase CD4 count. Now, anybody who's... HIV positive like I am uh, or has a relative who's HIV positive probably knows about CD4 count and selenium is the strongest thing to help increase CD4 count. The South African Medical Association has warned that the correct dosage of selenium must be used. How then <coughs> have you over 37 years living with HIV used selenium and to what dosages for your benefit? Well, uh, uh, it, it, it's nice that one doctor says that they went to a, a nutritional uh, book and found out what the minimum required, because the RDA is a minimum requirement. But when you have a, a sickness or disease, uh, sometimes you need more than the minimum, because actually the way that viruses work, the way that the HIV virus works, the way that the Ebola virus works, and the way that the COVID-19, um, uh, SARS, COV-2 virus works, is by draining selenium out of your body. And so when viruses drain selenium out of your body, guess what? The immune system goes down. So you need to replenish more than the average person would need to supply their minimum requirement of selenium. So um, selenium has been used to treat many viral diseases, not only HIV, not only Ebola. And when they had the Ebola crisis in West Africa in 2014, the Ministry of Health of Liberia called me to bring selenium. We put selenium in to the Ebola patients at 1.2 milligrams a day. That was um, six selenium tablets a day, and it reduced the dying by 57.1%. Now, it certainly wouldn't do that if you only gave them the minimum daily requirement that somebody needs to be healthy for uh, a healthy person to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Um, we know that clinical trials, you, you're involved in some sort of research here in South Africa to see if uh, selenium can help prevent COVID-19. Let's talk a little bit about the research that you're doing there. And, um, you know, you speak about the Ebola and how beneficial it was there. What are you hoping to achieve when it comes to tackling COVID-19? Well, uh, selenium is a broad spectrum antiviral because it is a key requirement for the immune system. And the immune system is set up to fight viruses, but viruses are set up to subvert and bring down the immune system. 
So it's a matter of the immune system versus the, the world of viruses. So you need to learn how to boost the defenses of the immune system to fight those viruses. And selenium is a key thing that's done that. Now this is shown in the, I have a copy of the Lancet Medical Journal Report, mm -hmm. the importance of selenium to human health. And that shows uh, that reports that selenium is a broad spectrum antiviral. It helps not only with HIV, but herpes, hepatitis, chicken pox, measles, colds, flu, shingles. Uh, and now I help prove that it uh, was effective against Ebola and it's effective against other hemorrhagic fever viruses. Now, this virus that causes COVID 19, the SARS CoV 2 virus, um, it's it's interesting because it causes a disease that is uh, a little bit like influenza, that it attacks the lungs, but it also has some aspects that's similar to hemorrhagic fever viruses such as Ebola because it causes um, distributed uh, 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 coagulation in, in the uh, blood system, in the circulatory system. So that's what's causing most of the problems with COVID-19 disease. So selenium helps in multiple ways against, uh, should help multiple ways against COVID-19. And right now we have a clinical trial that's uh, just started in Nigeria by uh, the Nigerian government um, research institute that hopefully will show the, prove that effect, but theoretically, uh, it does because it helps against almost all viruses. So if you have something that's a broad spectrum antiviral, helps against almost all viruses. Howard, I'm going to have to interrupt help. you there for the sake of time. Let's talk a little bit about accessibility. How, where do you find selenium? Is it over the counter? Do you need a prescription? Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, here's, here's uh, one brand of selenium that's available in most pharmacies. Uh, it's, it's over the counter. It's not expensive. A uh, hundred tablets cost about, uh, let's say, 180 rand. You can find it a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive. But it's available. It's safe. Uh, it's effective. It helps because it boosts the immune system. It helps against almost most diseases and health conditions. It's not a cure for any health condition, mm -hmm. but it helps against most health conditions Thank by you so much, boosting sir. the immune system. Thank you for your time. Uh, we are out of time, but uh, very insightful there. Research scientist Howard Armistead speaking about the benefits of selenium.